So a lot of big YouTubers lately have been playing Among Us Zombies, and you guys are probably wondering how they were actually able to play this. And it's actually a pretty simple way to get this. Before we do that, make sure you guys subscribe and like the video so that more people can see it. And we're really close to 30,000 subscribers, and it would mean a lot if you guys would subscribe. So to get the Zombies game mode, you're going to have to actually use this sort of server called Skeld.net. You can think of it as sort of like a Minecraft server, as they call it, because it's basically a different, you play on different servers than the normal North America, Asia, and Europe among us servers. So to do this, you have to go to the website skill.net. I can put this in the pinned comment, but it's a pretty simple link. And uh, if you're on PC, you can literally just use the website and do all the steps over here. I'll be showing you guys how to do it on PC. And if you're on Android or BlueStacks, you can literally just click on the Android app right over here. Or you can go into the Discord server, and they have some instructions in the Discord server as well. So most of you guys will probably just end up using the website since it's probably the simplest thing to do. And you're going to click on download right over here. So once you download this, you want to rename it. If it's called um, Region 1 Info or Region Info 1, um, you want to go in folder and you want to rename it really quick. So I'm going to rename mine to Region Info. So this is what it looks like. Right over here, it says Region Info.dat. And there should no, be no one. It should look exactly like that. So once you have that ready, um, just you can click out of it and leave it open. So the next step is to find the folder where you're going to paste this um, file into so I would just copy just app data because this does not work for some reason because there's like dots in there so I would just copy app data and then you're going to type Windows R and you're going to paste app data into Windows R so like this you're just going to paste in app data and that's all you need to do so it should appear like this all right so you're going to have to go back to app data like this you're just going to go back one to app data and you click on local low then you're going to scroll down to Inner Sloth, click on that, click on Among Us, and you will see that there is a region info.dat in here. So we're just going to delete out this region info, you can like drag it to a different folder or something, but you might want to actually get it back later if you decide to like undo this, but you shouldn't really need to. So the next thing you want to do is head on to your downloads or wherever you save this, and you're just going to drag this away, and then just drag the region info.dat right into here. And you're done. That's basically all you have to do. So now I just press X on both of those. And now you want to go into Steam and launch up Among Us. Okay, so I have Among Us over here. I'm just going to click on play and we're going to launch it up. And it's launching up my other window. So I'll drag that over. Here it is. And behind me is the Discord server for Skill.net. And it has all the information for PC, just like on the website and on the for android as well and you cannot do this on ios because they can't like edit the ios um app or anything so if you want to do an android or blue stacks you can simply just click on this and it's just a simple app that you have to download sort of an apk app in the play store and again i'm showing you guys this on windows so we are in the game of among us so you're just going to click on online and as you can see down here, it should say scale.net. If it does not say that, then you did something wrong. You might have to re-download that, um, that region info file. And this basically just changes your region info to the normal um, info for scale.net, which is its own server other than the uh, North America and all the other servers. So if you want to join uh, different codes, people leave codes in one of these uh and right over here the game codes channel so a lot of people are playing those um they usually say what the what the game mode is so i'm just going to join this one and you can all obviously just type in the code but as you guys can see this is the game mode basically so uh i don't really know what this game mode is but i'll show you guys how to host your own um and that's just how to join games so i'll show you guys how to host your own and make it zombies because that's what you guys all came here for but there's actually quite a few other different game modes as well so if you go to the chat it should say welcome to scale.net first um custom among us server and you're just gonna do slash slash um commands and it'll show you every single command and i already know some of the commands so slash game mode zombies will change it to zombies like this so it just tells you what to do in zombies game mode show you guys some gameplay from 
the Among Us Zombies. So if you guys want to join a Zombies game mode, you can simply just click on Public right on over here. And then you just want to scroll down and find one that says Zombies on the right hand side. So some of them will just be standard game modes and some of them will be zombies. And the reason why there's a lot of standard game modes is because there's just a ton of people that want to play on the Skills.net lobbies because they actually have an anti-cheat. And if the normal Among Us lobbies are down, you can still play on the Skilled.net lobbies because they will still be up. So I'll be showing you guys some gameplay from the zombies game mode in just a second. Alright, so I managed to get into a game through the public matchmaking area, and um, I managed to get into a game of zombies. So basically what happens in zombies is you are all sort of like policemen or something, and um, after the 10 second countdown, a zombie is selected. And the zombie's goal is to infect every single person on the ship, and then they get to win. And on the top on the taskbar shows how many zombies have been infected, because it basically completes your tasks. So if you walk near a or if a zombie walks near you and touches you, you will end up becoming a zombie. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, show you guys how it looks as a policeman just like running around the ship and trying to complete tasks. And then I'm going to show you guys how it is as a zombie basically infecting people to complete tasks. So you just basically have to run around and survive before the zombies can actually get you and you will win but i just decided to get infected by as a zombie and just just to see how it looked so there must be so they just walk next to you and there you go i'm a zombie so all i have to do is walk over and touch other people and as you guys can see i just made them into zombies as well so you basically just run around the ship and touch a bunch of people but the one disadvantage that zombies have that the crewmates do not is that they um, they can't really see that much around them, so it's a bit more difficult to be a zombie, but it's pretty easy because you just have to touch a bunch of people, and as you guys can see, we just won. So I really hope that this video was informative to you guys, and if you liked it, make sure to leave a like and let us know that way, and hopefully you guys have fun playing Among Us Zombies.